G'day viewers, welcome to Wimbledrain and as you could see from the intro we are going to look at the Engage Society JGA Hopper Wagon Kit. Now before we go any further I just need to mention that these kits are available from the Engage Society but you have to be a member of them to purchase these kits. So if you are interested you can go to their website, I'll put a link down in the description there's a range of kits there and as well as that you can access the instructions for each one to see what's involved. This is the first kit I've built in uh, Engage. I have done some plastic model car kits before in, in a bigger scale of course. So this was a bit of a challenge to do this but in the end with this kit I found it relatively straightforward nothing too difficult you just have to be aware of exactly what you need to do so you need to carefully and, and I'll emphasize this carefully read the instructions on how it all goes together because I did make a couple of little mistakes along the way and as well as that it's a good idea to get some photos go online and have a look at some photos and it'll give you an idea of um, how the real thing is meant to look. There is a small photo on the front cover of the instructions but online you can get uh, a lot more detail. Just in regard to the painting of the wagon, like you don't necessarily have to do it because the, the plastic already comes in the orange so you could just leave it and just spray it with um, a flat clear to get rid of that plasticky look if you want so that's an option. Now you would have seen earlier that I showed uh, what paints I use for this. Now the orange I used for the wagon itself not sure if that's exactly right as to the um, you know one in the real world this one might be a bit bright I'm not sure but that's the closest one I could get at the time so I've gone with that and if it is a bit bright I'll just weather it down and that should sort that out Now the other thing I had a bit of an issue with was the decals. They sort of tend to fall apart really easy on me. So what I did, what I tried then, and luckily there was uh, extras in there so I could uh, go back and do it again. So what I did is I got some flat clear spray. Sprayed it over the decals before I used them and that seemed to help. So just got to be very, very careful with those. You can do three different uh, types of wagons with this kit which is described in the instructions and I'll just bring that in now to show you there are three different ones you can do and all the decals are provided to do each one and all the uh, parts options particularly with the, uh, the etched parts are slightly different for each of those. So now I'll hand over to myself and show you how I put the wagon load in and then after that we'll um, see it running on the track. So I'm trying to work out how to put a load in this wagon rather than just fill this up completely. Um, I thought about making it removable but the problem is that the top is actually narrower than the middle so if you fit something through the top there you'd have gaps at the side if you had a removable load so the next best thing I guess it's going to have to be permanent is to get a bit of foam cut it to size and then we'll just fill it with this get rid of that reflection fill it with this uh, fine light grey ballast just on top so hopefully that won't be too much that I have to put on top and keep the weight down. Right, I've filled the uh, top of the foam with the grey ballast now and this is what we end up with. So I didn't have to put too much in there which was good. So what will happen now is uh, we can glue that down with the normal watered down PVA if you like. I use uh, glue made from Mod Podge and just uh, water that down a bit. 
so um, yeah we'll go ahead and do that and that should uh, finish it off to send it off on its way it goes across the points and that without any issues now I've got another five of these to make so I can make a nice rake of them So there you go, there's the RMC JGA Hopper Wagon Kit from the Engage Society. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully we'll see you on the next one. Take it easy, enjoy your model railways, and bye for now from John at Wimbledon.